Wednesday Adams and it gets emotional. Ah! Tisha! As I rush you to the hospital, describe the pain. It feels like this child is twisting my limbs and sucking the life out of me. It's amazing. Reminds me of our honeymoon. Ah! On the count of three, I'm gonna need you to do a big push for me, okay? okay. One, two, three! Ah! Push like we push that boulder on that unsuspecting couple! Schools and crossbows! A little more! Oh. Oh. Congratulations. Oh. It's a girl. Oh, my sweet daughter. We did it, me and Maud. What are you going to name her? Her name is Wednesday, like the nursery rhyme. Wednesday's Wednesday child is full of woe. Beautiful. Sweet, sweet Wednesday. What is happening? Check it close! Hey. Morticia! Maud! <gasps> What's happening? She's not breathing. Morticia! I'm sorry, go miss. No. No! Wednesday, we left you a giant inheritance that you will inherit on your 18th birthday. But for now, no life is worth living without you and me, Mon! Wait, what are you doing? What? Gomez! Gomez! Till death do his part. Take his pulse! Take his pulse! He's dead. What are you gonna do with the baby? She's gonna have to go to an orphanage. Hi, we called earlier about adopting a baby. Mm, lucky for you, there's one left. She's tried to kill me three times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, so what is the baby's name? Her name is Wednesday. We would love to meet her. She's over there. Hi! Hi Wednesday. Strange looking doll right there. Hey, Wednesday, we want to be your parents. Is it okay if we adopt you? So, voodoo doll. What's a voodoo doll? They say if you do something like this, it does something to somebody in real life. That's not real. When you come back to our house, we're gonna get you new dolls. Can we be your mommy and daddy? Yeah. We would love to adopt Wednesday. Remember, this is a big decision. And it's the right decision. Wednesday needs a home. Oh, and she has a family fortune coming on her 18th birthday, and I guess it's giant. We don't need that. We are totally fine supporting her. Here you go. Frank, this looks like everything is all <laughs> oh. Hey, what's going on? Oh no, what just happened? She has a pulse. 911, we need an ambulance. We have someone not breathing. Okay, thank you. Look, Wednesday. What? Do you think she did this to her with the voodoo doll? Are you crazy? She's a baby. There's no way she could have done that. She is too dangerous. We're not taking her home. Oh, if we don't take her, she's not going to have a home, and now she won't have anyone to care for her. Plus, you signed the adoption papers. We can't afford to be here when they get here. Okay, Wednesday, we're going to take you home. I just adopted Wednesday at but in order to complete the program, you have to become best friends with her. Okay, well that'll be easy, mother-daughter bestie. Can you see what just happened? This is a bad idea. But I want to complete this program because if I do, Maddie and I get a girl's night. Well, if you don't, you both have to endure an extreme punishment. Perfect, just get back in there and pass. We got this, Maddie. Team girl! She can get punished so bad. We're gonna have a girl's night. One year old. Happy birthday, Wednesday! I cannot believe you are one year old and we put together this whole pink birthday for you. Now listen, I know I'm not your real mom, but when your parents passed away, Mama. they left you their family fortune, and you'll get it when you're 18 years old. But for now, it's my job to make sure that you grow up to be the best little girl you can be. Wait till you try this cake. You are gonna love it. We're gonna cut it once your dad gets here. Where is your dad? Hey guys. I think she's trying to kill me. She's a baby. There's no way she could have done that. Well, just in case. I brought a peace offering. Lemons from my favorite lemon tree. She's a baby. There's no way a baby is going to eat a lemon. She didn't even make a face. They are the best lemons ever. I think it's time we sing some happy birthday to our birthday girl, Wednesday. Yes. Happy birthday, dear Wednesday. Happy birthday to you. Anymore. Your father! Wake up! Wake up! Hello? I need someone here as soon as possible. My husband just passed out. I don't think he's breathing. Please send someone. Just hang on. Someone's going to be here any second, okay? Hello? Happy birthday, Wednesday! Rebecca! Evelyn! What happened? I don't know. I don't know. He just passed out during Wednesday's oh, birthday. Just calm down. I'm your best friend. I'm going to be here with you no matter what happens. Emergency medical. What happened? He just passed out. There's no pulse. What? Could he have been poisoned? Poison? What? No. It's not possible. There's nothing I can do. But we were just celebrating our daughter's first birthday. Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm so sorry something happened to your daddy. What is this? Wednesday? Is that poison? That baby is evil. 
she just poisoned the dad! Looks like you two are doing extreme punishment. Yeah, well, she didn't punish the mom. Just saying. Wednesday, this was your dad's favorite lemon tree. I'm so sorry you have to grow up without a dad again. <laughs> she has her family fortune to take care of her. Yeah, but money can't buy happiness. Wednesday, I just want you to be happy. Huh? I love you so much, and your dad did too. Evelyn, thank you so much for being here. Of course, I'm your best friend. <laughs> Rebecca's a single parent now. At least she has a best friend there to help her. It doesn't mean that she's gonna finish the program. Eight years old. Wednesday! What are you doing here? Your teacher actually called me here. Did something happen? Did you beat up Billy again? I wish. You must be Wednesday's mom. Rebecca? Alyssa? You're Wednesday's teacher? Go by win! We've only just begun! Go Tora! Did you know that your mom used to be a straight A student? Well, I couldn't have done it without my co-captain of the cheerleading team, Arlo! How exciting. Two cheerleaders. Double my nightmare. Well, back to business. Why exactly did you call me here? Did Wednesday fail a test or something? Actually, she got an A plus on her last test. Oh yeah, that's my girl Wednesday, like mama, like daughter. You make me nauseous. Yeah, I don't really know how to tell you this, but Wednesday tried to poison me. She's done a few bow and arrows and maybe tried a few prongs, but she has never tried to poison anyone. I have proof, it's her lipstick. But that's just her black lipstick. She wears it every day. It's like a goth thing or something. You have no proof, old lady. She doesn't mean that. I mean, your skin is a flawless. Ooh. Like, I've gotta talk to you about how you get your skin so good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but this lipstick, look, I'll show you. Looks like black lipstick. It looks like black lipstick, but in science class, we learned about a poison that turns green when sprayed with water. I'll show you. See? Poison. Wednesday Adams. Well played, teacher. We are going to discuss this when we get home. I am so sorry. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know. I'm sorry, she's just, she's been through a lot, and if there's anything that I, oh, Wednesday! Ah! Put it out, put it out. Yeah. Wednesday! What do you have to say for yourself? A grade in this class doesn't mean anything. Don't have her come in tomorrow. I am tomorrow. so sorry. I will take care of this. Wednesday Adams, what were you thinking? I saw the teacher give a kid a bad grade even though he didn't deserve it. Well, two wrongs don't make a right, Wednesday. Well, it makes it even. Wednesday totally hates her mom. There's no way that she's gonna complete this program. Yes, she is, and if you agree to, I have a challenge for you. Subscribe with notifications on, smash the thumbs up, and comment down below your name and girl power so we know that you have our back. 10 years old. Happy 10th birthday, Wednesday! I hope you like the pink party, and I invited all of your classmates from school to come here because when I was 10, I had a birthday party, and it was the best thing ever, one of my favorite memories. I don't have any friends. Well, maybe after today you will. Isn't this the best? Please say you at least got me the black water gun I asked for. Actually, speaking of water guns, ta-da! This is pink and sparkly. Yes, well, I thought the black one was a little bit too intense for a 10 year old. It was very strong, so I got you the pink one. Besides, it's really cute. Good thing I bought my own. You can't be using that. That is very powerful. Look who's here. It's Katie. Is this a gift for Wednesday? Mm -hmm. A pink box Wednesday. Say thank you. Thank you. Now, you two, why don't you guys go and play? Have a little fun. As long as we don't go in the pool because I can't swim. Perfect. Of course, no swimming, you guys. Go have fun Wednesday. Well, not as many friends showed up as I thought would, but at least she has one friend. Wednesday just needs to start interacting with other kids and then she'll become more normal. Do you want to see something cool? Just stand right there and look into the pool. There's a pink sparkly unicorn. Look at the bottom. I don't see anything. No! Oh, no! <laughs> Oops, I guess the pink birthday made me do it. <gasps> Wednesday! I'm so sorry. Wednesday Adams? I don't think you're gonna be able to complete this program. I mean, everybody that gets close to Wednesday either runs away scared or dies. Yeah, but I am her mom and all I have to do is show her how much fun the things I do are and then we will become besties. Great idea, and then we'll get our girls now. No, I'm oh, going with yeah. extreme punishment. It looks like Wednesday's now 13 and she's going to her first dance. She better not be 
be having a first kiss. 13 years old. Wednesday, I cannot believe that I am chaperoning your first school dance. Aren't you excited? I only agreed to this so I didn't have to do another girls night with you. Well, that one night was fun, but this is gonna be so much more fun. And I have to warn you that I had my first kiss when I was your age at this dance. I went alone just like you, but then this boy asked me to dance and before I knew it, he was like going in and I was like, oh my God, what's happening? And then boom, whack, first kiss. So just be ready, you know? I'd rather they're sitting in the gym with a bunch of cheerleaders. Now that's the spirit Wednesday. You look beautiful. Wait right there. I got you something and you are gonna love it. A black bag, how uncharacteristic of you. Now look in the bag, there's something for you. You are going to love this and it might help you get that first kiss. Black tissue, I'm intrigued. I'm so happy you like it so far Wednesday. Now open it up, I am so excited. It's a... A pink dress. A pink dress with black flowers on it. It's like you're cute, but you're edgy. Now try it on. You're gonna have to wear this to your first dance. The boys are gonna love it Wednesday. Oh my gosh. She's gonna look perfect in that, especially with her first kiss. Wednesday. Hurry up Wednesday, what's taking you so long? are gonna be googly ad for you. Did you practice the first kiss? Because I feel like that is actually going to happen tonight. When I was your age, this is what I did. I just used my hand and I just went in soft, soft lips. You just wanna go in just like soft and just a soft, gentle kiss, okay? You try. Oh, lipstick, that's a good touch. The boys like lipstick. I'm into that. Wednesday, the dress. Oh no, it's ruined. Guess I have to wear my other one. <sighs> Do you know how much that pink dress costs? I would have died to wear that dress when I was your age. Stay calm. At least she's going to the dance. She still might have that first kiss. Wow, this looks so different than when I went to my first school dance. You made me be on the decorating committee. I think I did a good job. I need to go to the bathroom. Make sure to use some mouthwash, you know. So the pink dress with the black flower didn't work? No, just keep trying. You know teenagers are complicated. She doesn't like anything that I like. She will. Thank you again for coming and chaperoning with me. Of course, I mean, my son's in boarding school, so I have nothing else to do. <laughs> Wednesday, you get that mouthwash, you know? Gotta be fresh. Can we go home now? What? There's still two more hours of the dance. No way, we can't go home. Besides, there is a cute boy coming this way. Play it cool, okay? <laughs> Pretend like something's funny. <laughs> Hi, Wednesday. Go away. She doesn't mean that. <laughs> you don't mean that. She is so flattered that you like her dress. Would you like no. to dance? Do it. I don't want to. Then you're gonna have to dance with your mama and I'm about to do the worm on the floor. That's what I'm talking about, have fun. What do you like to do for fun? I like to kill people. Oh, well, like martial arts? I do jujitsu. More like taekwondo or anything that ends in death. I cannot believe that Wednesday is at her first dance just like her mom. I mean, she might have her first kiss just like me. I told you. It's just so hard. I mean, the more I try to get Wednesday to like the things that I like, the more it seems like she hates me. That's okay. Just maybe you need to take what she likes and add a twist to it. That didn't work when she was younger. Remember the squirt guns? I know, but she's older now. She will like it. Do you like archery? I like archery. I bet I could beat you. Whoa. We'll have to go figure that out. How about this weekend? You're annoying me. What does she want for her 16th birthday? She wants what every 16 year old wants. She wants a Jeep, but add a twist to it. Exactly. Want a kiss? Yeah. Hold on. What's that? You're right. And then I'll be able to finally connect with my daughter. The lipstick. Wednesday, no! No! I thought you wanted me to have my first kiss. I wanted you to have your first kiss. I didn't want you to poison this nice boy. I wanted to kill Dylan, but this will have to do. Oh. Wednesday oh. Adams! I am so sorry about my daughter. Wednesday's crazy. Yeah. But I like it. 16 years old. Happy sweet 16 Wednesday! I said no pink balloons. <laughs> You know what, you're right, you said no balloons, my bad. You said you didn't want any people for your sweet 16, but I thought I'd just invite a special someone. Hey Wednesday, thought we could like hang out or something. Dylan. Dylan, and I thought it would 
be fun to have a day in the movie theater. You know, I have some little popcorn, some treats, you know. Or we could do some archery or some martial arts. Or I could light you on fire. Oh, you don't really mean that. <laughs> Try me. Uh, it's best you probably go. Happy birthday. <laughs> My bad, I thought you'd want a date with a really nice guy. I mean, he really likes you Wednesday. No. You didn't like the balloons or Dylan coming, but you're gonna like this surprise. But first, you're gonna have to put on this blindfold. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Come on. Here is the surprise. What you've been asking for for your 16th birthday. You got me the black Jeep that I want. Well, presenting your brand new Jeep. It's pink. Well, it's a black Jeep with a little pink twist. So, what do you think? I'm still processing. I will let you process it, Miss Birthday Girl, while mom goes and makes a phone call. Happy birthday! Hey, what's up? Hey, I am just calling because you gave the best advice Wednesday loves the pink Jeep. She does? Yes, this is so good. This is the first time I feel like I'm finally connecting to my daughter. Time to make this Jeep more me. Well, what are you guys doing for the rest of the day? Rebecca? Rebecca. Wednesday Adams, what have you done? That was a $10,000 custom wrap. I thought it needed more black. There's literally no pink left. Oops, happy birthday to me. You know what, Wednesday? I have tried to have patience with you, but this is crossing the line. I wish I was never adopted by you. Really nice, Wednesday. I can't wait till I get my family fortune so I can leave. Looks like you're gonna have to wait till your 18th birthday. Or will I? Wednesday, you're grounded. I'm serious. Grounded. 17 years old. Happy graduation day, Wednesday! Can you believe that you are finally graduating high school? I remember when you were just a little baby and we had adopted you. It's shocking, I know. And I know we've been through our ups and downs and sometimes we don't always see eye to eye, but honestly, adopting you was the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm so proud of you. And I know that your parents, your real parents, are looking down on you smiling and they're proud too. Okay. By the way, I have a couple more forms I need you to sign so oh. I can graduate. Perfect. There. It's so crazy. I mean, you get to give a speech at your graduation. I had to. Otherwise, I would have been expelled for burning that girl's hair. Gotcha. Here we go. Well, I will see you at the ceremony. And just know, your biggest cheerleader is your mom in the back. So proud. And with their severed body parts laid all across the floor, we could finally say, we're done. Where did everyone else go? Great job, honey! Yeah! Woo! Congratulations, Wednesday, Miss High School graduate! We are gonna celebrate with dinner, and then we're gonna party! There's someone I want you to meet. Whoa, that is some stinky hair. This is my boyfriend, Levi. Boy it's cooking good looking. I have not heard about this boyfriend before. Are you sure? Like, maybe you should kind of take things a little bit slower. Actually, we're getting married tomorrow. <laughs> good one, Wednesday. You guys are getting married. If only you could, but you two aren't old enough to get married. <laughs> Except, according to this paper you signed, I am. I give my permission for Wednesday Adams to get married under the eight. I never signed that. You signed it this morning in my room, remember? You told me those were graduation documents. Lewis or what, whatever. Levi. You two are not getting married. That is crazy. This guy is a complete jerk. There is no way I am letting my daughter marry someone creepy like him. Rebecca, what's wrong? My daughter thinks she's going to marry some guy named Levi that she just met who's crazy. Levi is my son, but he looks a lot different than when I met him. At five years old. Let's go get packed for a shotgun wedding. I cannot let my daughter marry your son. They are way too young and he's not right for her. Age is just a number and it's all gonna be okay. I have to go. Wednesday? Wednesday. I have to finish packing. All right, I'll be waiting for you in your Jeep. Okay. I have a bad feeling about that guy. Yeah, no, everything's going according to plan. No, I'm not falling in love with her. We're trying to steal the family fortune. He's not in love with the Wednesday? He's just marrying her for the fortune? Yes, yeah, so we'll finish her off at the wedding. The lipstick has a new formula and it's clear. Nobody's gonna even know. Are they trying to poison her? The lipstick? I love you too. I love you too? Who do you think he's talking to? Who's coming down? I've gotta get her to sign that deed. 
Did you guys hear that? They want to get her to sign a deed. They want to poison her. I have to warn my daughter. I just hope she'll listen to me. Wednesday! You can't marry him. He doesn't have your best interest in mind. He doesn't even love you. He just wants to take your family fortune. All that you want is for me to be happy, but now that I am, you can't stand it. No, 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 Wednesday, I want you to be happy, but this is not the guy. Because he's not the guy you would choose for me? I know you're mad at me. I know there's things that maybe I have done, but I am telling you, as your mom, you can't marry this guy. It's a huge mistake. He wants to poison you with clear lipstick. Really? Because the only poison I know is green. I'm leaving. How is she gonna complete this program once they moving out and won't even talk to her? Please, no, Wednesday. And you're uninvited from my wedding. And now she's uninvited from the wedding. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm adding some twists to the extreme punishment you guys are gonna do. Hey, Wednesday, please. Wednesday! No! Wednesday! She's gone. I couldn't save her. I don't know what to do. The only way I can protect my daughter is go to the wedding. But she uninvited me. And if I don't protect her, they're gonna do something to her. I don't know what to do. What would Wednesday do? What would Wednesday do? Her whole life, I've tried to connect with her by making her do the things that I like, but I've never asked or tried to do the things that she likes. What does Wednesday like? Wednesday likes archery, fire, squirt guns. If I want to save my daughter Wednesday Adams, I'm going to have to start thinking like her. Bye bye pink postcards. Throw a good punch. I've got you, Wednesday. This is the wedding. Where is everyone? There they are. This is a big day for you two. Can't wait to marry the woman of my dreams. Go ahead and sign. Oh no, that's the deed he was talking about. The one that he said if she signs, she'll give away her inheritance. This makes me happier than what I'd imagine a painful death to feel like. Oh no, she signed it. Well, I've got to get going to the altar, but I'll see you guys there. I love you, son. I love you, mom. Why is Evelyn so okay with her son marrying my daughter? They're not even 18 years old. This wedding will be the beginning of a new chapter, a deadly one. My favorite. Hopefully all this training I've done will help me stop this wedding. But for now, I'm just a guest. Everyone, please stand. That's the poison lipstick that goes on clear. I hope this works. We have gathered here today to witness the inheritance of love. Can we hurry up with this? I just really want to kiss my bride. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Oh no, the kiss! I thought I was going to have more time! <sighs> He was trying to poison you. Mom. I'm sorry, Wednesday, but I cannot let him poison you and steal your inheritance. Too late. Already stolen. Give me that. Looks like her signature is void. No, I can't believe you. Ah. Oh. Oh. Come on, Wednesday. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, I'm so sorry. I had no idea my son was going to do that. Go to the room and I'll make sure he doesn't get near you. Okay, oh, come on, Lulu. Yes, you got this, Rebecca. Save your daughter. Go, pal. This is never gonna work. We're safe in here now. Mom, you wore all black and you did all that for me. I had to protect my daughter. I had spent my whole life trying to get closer to you by making you like the things that I like. But I realize now that I didn't take the time to get to know what you like. And so whatever it is that you like, I'm on board. I'm your mom and I love you. You mean it. I love you. Wow. Such a beautiful moment, it makes me sick. How did you get in here? I'm getting that inheritance. As her mother, I will make sure that that will never happen. Levi, please stop, I'm begging you. No, you stop. No, you stop. Evelyn, that's your son. Please, my son. I haven't seen my son since he was like eight years old. That's my boyfriend. And together, 
we're taking Wednesday's inheritance. So all that advice you gave me for all those years was just to separate me from my daughter? Congratulations, it's only taking you like 17 years to figure that out. Get the fortune and let's get out of here, babe. <gasps> what just happened? No, Wednesday! This is all your fault and now I'm gonna get rid of you once and for all. No! <laughs> You are my best friend. I'd get out of here if I were you. Mom. Mom. Wednesday. I'm sorry. Do a better job. You are the best mom I could have ever asked for. I love you. I love you too, Mom. No. Help! Help! Mom, Wednesday. Please. You okay? No, I need to get my mom to the hospital. Mom, wake up. Wednesday. She doesn't have a pulse. Rebecca wasn't supposed to die in the program. I don't know if I can pull her out. What do you mean, Maddie? I'm trying to pull her out. Is she waking up? Rebecca, wake up! We need you to come back! Mom, Evelyn is now in jail for life. I didn't kill her because someone once told me two wrongs don't make a right. What's it? What are you doing here? I'm visiting my mom. I saw you turn your car back to pink. I thought black was your favorite color. Yeah, but sometimes a little bit of color doesn't hurt. Would you want to get dinner tonight? Yeah. I'll meet you at my Jeep. Mom. I think you were right. He's not that bad. I'll always love you and be your biggest cheerleader. You okay? It looks like somebody's getting a girlfriend! <laughs> no extreme punishment, Zamfam. Click and watch this video right here and let us know you're coming from Girl Power. I have to cancel so much stuff on Amazon.